It's your girl Jan tonight and welcome back to another video so in this video today guys i'm finally gonna be reviewing the luxury collection from bath and body works for you they actually listed and brought out 10 cents but i only purchased nine because the santo and y'all this girl just can't get into it okay i can't get into it i don't know what it is about it but i just can't so i do have the other nine we're going to talk about them we're going to review them i'm going to tell you what they smell like to me to me because i have gotten a chance to wear all of them i've been wearing them to bed i've been trying to you know feel them out and stuff like that so i have gotten the chance to wear them already so we are going to be talking about that today so if you are new here welcome to the channel my name is jansen as on this channel we talk about anything that's going to make you smell good look good and feel good that's what this entire channel is about i love fragrances i love body care i love body mists anything that's gonna make the girl glow and smell good you know that's what we talk about here okay so if you're interested in that please click that subscribe button and also leave your girl a huge thumbs up because it really helps her on her content and on this channel and please leave me a comment down below let me know what you are wearing today i absolutely love when you guys share your scent of the days with me it really really helps me because i personally also use some of y'all's layering combos because you guys been y'all call me the layering guru y'all be layering these fragrances and i absolutely love these combos that you choose so without further ado let's get straight into this video so in no particular order i'm going to be talking about these fragrances but the first one we are going to talk about is on the horizon it came in this beautiful beautiful blue packaging and this has notes of watery bergamot blue lotus driftwood moss this is said to be a, a do for a sailing day by replica and i am telling you this is automatically a unisex fragrance this definitely reminds me of a nice rainy day it also reminds me of a nice beach day i feel like this is going to be one of my new beach scents that i have to try out soon i i, I like this one i was surprised by this because initially based off the notes i was like okay i might have to give this to bay or give this to our friend right but i was interested in it because then the the aquatic notes in it i was like okay summer is coming up i may need a new like nice solar beach scent so i definitely wanted to try this out but i like this one i feel like this is perfect for a rainy day it gives me that fresh feel as well too like fresh out the shower kind of vibe so i feel like it's perfect for like when you don't want to wear a lot of fragrance and you just want to come out the shower feeling fresh um that is definitely going to be a perfect scent for you now i can't really compare it to sailing day because i've never smelled that one before and i don't have it in my collection never gotten a sample of that but if i do i definitely will come back and let you guys know in the comments at a later date um i'm gonna be getting to smell some new fragrances really really soon so stay tuned for that i definitely can't wait to smell some new stuff so if i do get to smell it along the way in that then i'll definitely let you guys know if it does smell like that but this is on the horizon the next one is if you musk and it came in this nice opaque kind of packaging and this has iris pink pepper airy musk this is a dupe for glossier you and right off the bat when i smelled this i automatically said this is glossier you it smells exactly like this i don't have glossier you in my collection did have a sample of it and i've smelled it multiple times like when i was last year when i was in um canada and i went to sephora i think we went to sephora about two or three times and every time i went i i just kept on smelling it. this is also another one of those fresh profile kind of scents there is a little sweetness in this i'm not sure what it is coming from but there is a touch of sweetness in this fragrance it is really really awesome i love how this smells the sweetness in this almost has like a bubblegum effect. I don't know. If y'all get that vibe from this, let me know. But it does have a nice musky airiness to it. Really good for everyday scent. I actually paired this with Caramel Cascade recently and it smelled really great together. I also paired it with um, Cayer Passaccio as well. 
really great together as well too so i'm i'm loving this one i like this one i feel like this is going to be my new bedtime scent like every time like i come out the shower and i want to get to bed and i just want to feel cozy and comfortable i feel like it gives me that kind of vibe so this is iris pink pepper airy musk and this is a few musk the next one is O oh Cherry. This is supposed to be a dupe for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. And this has notes of Black Cherry, Sheer Magnolia, and Tonka Beam. This is definitely a spot on dupe for Lost Cherry. I think I'm going to just pair this with my Finery Fragrance. I do have the Cherry oh Finery Fragrance. I don't have my KLE one. I have completely used that up. <laughs> so I can't pair it with that. But I do still have the Finery one. And I do have um I do have a dupe by AR fragrances called Wild Cherry. I'll link in my bio for that if you guys want to go ahead and check out AR fragrances. Oh, love this. This is so sexy. It's so sexy and it's smoky and it's just yummy. And I love this. Something about a cherry profile always gets me. I don't know. Tell me if you guys like that too. But I love a good cherry profile in a fragrance. And they did get the cherry in this and the smokiness and the dripping goodness in this very, very well. And this is O Cherry. Definitely a great dupe for Tom Ford's Lush Cherry. Next one is Pink Obsessed, and they are saying this is a dupe for none other than Valentina's Donna Born in Roma. Every time I have to say that name, I kind of deep down feel like really sad because last year I dropped my bottle <laughs> and I still haven't replaced it. Um, I had the full size, guys. I had the full size. I think I paid like almost $200 for it and it dropped. It just yeah it just drops out of my hand and shattered i was absolutely mad when that happened but we move and we keep going so this is supposed to be a do for that i absolutely love that fragrance um anything in that line i absolutely love it the new one i smelled it recently chef's kiss i definitely know that i need that in my collection um this has a blushing jasmine cashmere praline vanilla bourbon oh i just can't wait to spray this out oh my gosh guys Ooh, ooh! This is giving what it's supposed to give. Pink obsessed. Mm, 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 mm. She is that girl. She is that girl. She's just gonna always be that girl. This DNA is to die for. It is so beautifully done, and it smells so good to be a body mist. Y'all, if you guys want good body mist, you definitely need this collection, okay? You need the luxury collection. This is so good, and it's such a spot on. This is what I was very concerned about. I When I first heard about this collection, I was like, are these really gonna be spot on dudes? Like, I hear what y'all saying, but are they really? And they did the do, okay? These are spot on. These are so spot on. I love this. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to wear this one again. Oh, so good. And this is pink obsessed. This next one is Floral Flying Fantasy. I wore this to bed last night. A lot of people are saying this is a dupe for either Mon Pottery. Then people are saying that it is a dupe for Victor and Rolf. But for me, I get Carolina Herrera's good girl DNA out of this. Let me know down below which one it smells like to you. I wore this to bed last night. It didn't really last super, super long, but it did smell super, super good. I kind of got a faint smell on it when I woke up this morning when I had it on my my, um my shirt I was wearing to bed it kind of was on it faintly but this is such a huge florally kind of fragrance this is peach osmanthus jasmine and warm patchouli and believe me when I tell you you get that patchouli in this oh no I poured, I poured too much into the cap you do get that patchouli in this you definitely get it it's there it stands out and it sits so if you don't like patchouli do not pick this up okay but I like this one it's super florally you do get the fruity notes of the peach in this as well too but it has a lot of florals it's got the patchouli it's got the jasmine it's got the osmanthus so if you are not into that do not pick this up you know if you guys see how many times i've reiterated that please do not well i actually got these in the 595 sale 
I did get them with some other fragrances. So I didn't only get the designer fragrances. I did also get Diamond of the Season, Brightest Bloom, Peach Bellini. And I got um, the Strawberry Vanilla Bourbon fragrance as well too. So I got those along with this. But this is a flower bomb. This has got a lot of florals in it. So if you're not into it, don't pick it up. But this is floral fantasy. Next on the list, we have Covered in Roses. And I'm actually wearing this one today. This is my scent of the day. And I'm wearing it with Fashionably London by zara this has ruby berries sugared rosebuds and a blush amber smells so so good and it is a good dupe of delina guys super good dupe of delina okay so you're getting this berries you're getting the rose you're getting the greenness it's just so good i don't know i am not a rose or floral girly period I'm not a fresh girl either but when fragrances are done a particular way that they're done right i will wear them okay because i'm more of like a gourmand girly guys I'm, I'm really more into gourmand fragrances but if a fragrance that is fruity or floral and it is done right i am not going to kick it away i'm still gonna wear it okay this is done right and it pairs really, really well with Fashion in London. So I'm pretty sure it pairs well with any dupe that smells like Delina or anything in that really profile, fruity kind of pro, um, category. So it, this is definitely going to layer well with your other fragrances. And this is covered in roses. Next, we have Getaway Soiree. And this is supposed to be a dupe for Tom Ford's Sole Blanc. And this is going to be perfect for the summertime. This has Sun Kiss Mandarin, Tuberose, and Solar Musk. Immediately, when I got this one, I didn't even spray it out yet. I smelled the cap like that and I was like, mm hmm, mm hmm. Those of you who actually follow me on TikTok and um, follow me on Instagram, y'all saw that video. I was like, mm hmm. Okay, Sole Blanc, Sole Blanc. Like, in, immediately, the DNA in this is that, okay? Immediately. This is also going to be a very nice beachy scent as well, too, for the summertime. Definitely going to pair this up with Rear Radiance. They have recently changed that to Cherry So 87, So de Janeiro, So de Janeiro. But yeah, this is going to be a very really nice beachy scent. Sunscreeny vibes, solar, muskiness perfect for the summertime y'all are gonna love to get into this one when you're gonna gonna go on vacation if you're coming to jamaica definitely you're gonna be wanting to wear this one okay this is get away soiree surprisingly i did not put these fragrances in in order but these last two are my absolute favorite and the next one is petal parade this is supposed to be a dupe for prada paradox which is one of my favorite fragrances and this is neroli petals orange flowers and white woods i absolutely love that fragrance i hate how people always say oh it's so basic it smells like everything else well i want to smell like everything else because i love it okay <laughs> i love prada paradox and i also love my way which they both have the same kind of dna and a lot of people were arguing to see whether they smell more like prada paradox or like my way but for me personally, this gives way more Prada Paradox than My Way. My Way has a lot more bubblegummy kind of vibes. And this is definitely a lot more neroli white florals. So, so good. So good. Mm, 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 mm. Woo. And she be kicking, you know. She be kicking. Now, I got about this much left of my Prada Paradox, okay? So, I will definitely be rocking this one until I get a new bottle. I absolutely love this one, too. It smells really, really well. This is this is one of the ones that does last a little bit longer. So, I'm pretty sure that people are going to eat this one up. Like, oh, I'm going to eat this one up. I'm pretty sure that, um, you know, this will definitely... Whew, this will definitely layer well with Prada Paradox or anything in that kind of neroli kind of background. So if you have any fragrances that have white florals or neroli, definitely get Petal Parade to blend with that. Last but not least, I have been going in on this. Okay, guys, like, look, 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 look where this is already. This is Viva Vanilla. This is Rich Plum Glowing Amber and Addictive Vanilla. This is supposed to be a dupe for none other than Miss K Ali Vanilla 28. I've seen a lot of other people saying that it's dupes for something else as well. Well, I get Vanilla 28. That's what I get. That's what my nose smells and that's what I get. I've also paired it with Nebras. I've paired it with caramel cascade which they're both behind me they smell amazing together 
and I absolutely love this one. Ooh, ooh. I'm actually gonna spray this one on my skin. I don't wanna waste it. That's how good it is. So good, rich vanilla woodiness which is the profile of vanilla that i absolutely love as you all know fleur's um vanilla vanilla um, scent is my absolute favorite i got oh, there's so much left in it and every time they restock it's out of stock okay so i absolutely love this one this is a true woody vanilla it's just so good it's so good and yummy and delectable will eat you right up okay <laughs> i love this one this is viva vanilla spot on dupe smells exactly like vanilla 28 to me and i absolutely need to get a backup of this because your girl's been spraying it up like crazy so there you have it guys this is the luxury collection by bath and body works these are the nine cents they did do 10. this other one is the last one silk santal um no not silk santal but it's a santal fragrance it's supposed to be a dupe for le Labo santal um i'm gonna be very honest with you that fragrance is nothing in my profile that i like i also did try to get the finery dupe of that and it just it just never worked for me never worked i didn't like it i ended up i think i sold it or i gave it away I can't remember i think i sold it though but it did not work for me it's very much more masculine for me and too green on my skin i don't like it <laughs> so if you do like it and you do want to let me know in the comments down below how well it worked out for you let me know but this is the end of the video thank you guys so much much for tuning into this video please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up let me know down below what your sense of the day is and which one of these fragrances from the luxury collection have you tried or will you be trying thanks again guys for watching this video until the next one bye my loves